Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we are the Hustle Couple coming at you today. Back with the Daily Grind. That's right. We are back after a much needed little vacation. Uh, and yeah, we've got a whole bunch of stuff to pack up for you guys today. Welcome. Hey. Uh, the Daily Grind series is back. We're giving thanks this season, and it's a series where we, like, show you everything we do all day. Yeah. And some days you get a little of this, and some days you get a little of that. Well, today is Monday, so you're going to get a lot of shipping. A whole lot. There are a ton of bolos in this video, so you're going to want to watch through the whole thing. You need to grab a coffee and a java sock, <laughs> because we are going to roll through almost 50 things. Yikes. And it's vacation. We were on vacation. But still, we made money on vacation. I love this job. It's amazing, right? If you're new here, welcome. Welcome. We're full-time resellers in Dallas, Texas. Yes. Okay. We are, we have already pulled the items for your convenience and ours. It took a long time. <laughs> but we're going to go through and give you everything we know about these items, including the keywords we use to list them and what they sold for and what we paid for them. Yes, all the important things. Okay, and while we're doing that, I'm going to spill some reseller tea, uh -oh. ask you some questions, uh -oh. a little Q&A action. Right. Um, we went to Cancun. We did. And it was amazing. Yes, it was. It's our first vacation since 2019, like an actual vacation, like yeah. at the beach where you're like doing nothing all day. All right, we're going to start with Poshmark. We're going to start with Poshmark. We sold a Hershey's item on Poshmark, and this has been listed a while, it but has. it's a cool item. Um, it's like go. a tackle box for <laughs> s'mores. <laughs> Hershey's s'mores. Doesn't need that. And uh, it's cool. So anyway, I think it sold for twenty bucks. But that was that was good since we we bought it for two ninety. Oh look, it has little pop. Uh, what do you call it? Compartments. compartments. Hershey's and graham crackers, and then your marshmallows go in the bottom. If we ate s'mores, you would love this because it's like a s'mores kit. I love kits <laughs> of any kind. I love a kit. Okay, so as we go through, hopefully if you're new to eBay, you can learn a thing or two. We go through our shipping daily with you. Some days, I don't know how you... Don't it's know. pretty tough here. Okay, yeah, some days it's the shipping is lighter than other days, and we'll go into other things. We'll do little mini hauls for you. We'll do educational resources. We'll go through a platform we call, we use called Vendu for you. And... Yeah. Tune in every single day because you just never know what you're going to get. That's true. We also uh, posted a short today of our cat picnic <laughs> dancing to Taylor Swift. So, really, you never know what you're going to get. Do you have any air pockets? I've got all the air Within pockets. reach? i got all the air pockets. How many do you need? I don't know. Amazon sent Perfect. all those for like one ridiculous package. Okay. I'm wearing my Virginia shirt today. I went to UVA. I know we have some Charlottesville viewers and we have some UVA alumni viewers. UVA strong. Charlottesville's been getting the hits recently. Yeah, man. Man. <sighs> All right, so the bonus of this thing selling on Poshmark is that we can put it into any USPS priority mail packaging. You see that? That was Swift, right? It was great. I covered the address. Uh, put the label on it and don't have to worry about it. And, okay, so while you're on Poshmark away, we put our store on, what do you call it, vacate? Uh, is it vacation on Poshmark? Yes. yes they yes. don't let you sell anything. No. On eBay, you can keep selling. Mm -hmm. So these two Poshmarks have just sold between yesterday and today. Right. Because we just went on vacation mode yesterday. So, you know, if we had been able to sell, I think we would have sold more. Yeah. These, these are super cool. are a very good brand. This is called Bed Stew. Would you like to bring this in for the viewers? What am I bringing in? The, the logo. <laughs> if you find bed stew, it can be very good. These were not the best, but they're pretty good. All right, you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah, so bed stew. There you go. That's it. If you see them, I would definitely look them up. These are like a moto style. Yeah, we paid eight ninety nine for these. And they sold for what? I think they sold for 45 that's okay. Yeah. We didn't write it down. We have a pick list for eBay, but not for Poshmark. I think they sold for $45. Which is, yeah, like we said, that's okay. Uh, we did have them listed for longer than I thought. Yeah. Here's the thing. Also, we changed up our camera angle. Let us know below if you like it. 
I didn't like being sideways the whole time. Trying new things. And then on vacation, you know, when you let your mind relax for a hot second, you think of ideas. We didn't think we could get the camera in this position in this space, but we did. And now you can see more of this <laughs> lovely shipping station. We work out of our closet. If you didn't know, this is our master closet and it works great for us. We store 2,500 pieces of inventory in here and we love it. So uh, what I was saying, I think that we sold a lot of, you can see these boxes behind me. We sold a ton of coats, jackets, sweaters, and shoes. And you saw that, right? <laughs> So it's the time of the year, right? If you got it, list it. That's what we've been selling. This is my Java sock from Maggie. Thank you. I'm going to thank Maggie every single video that I use this. <laughs> thank you. All right, Poshmark number two, ready to go. Okay. And I'm going to set the Poshmark. We, we do the Poshmark separately because on eBay, yep. we use what's called a scan sheet at the end, a scan form that has one barcode for all the packages. Yes. So we have to scan in the Poshmark separately because Poshmark doesn't have that feature. They do not. We will not walk you through it. They all right. All right. What's first? Four, six, four, six. Four, six, four, six. Roth. This is Roth's child. Whoa. Whoa. Girl, size 10, 12. Yes, I tried it on. Red long dress coat with ruffles knee length holiday. That was my title. If you learn nothing else from the first 10 minutes of this video, your titles do not need to make sense. They don't need to have any kind of flow to them. <laughs> they just need to be in the right order. So we do brand, size, color in this case, because red was really important if you're looking for a holiday coat. Long dress coat, ruffles, knee length, and then holiday, I just had enough room for it. So in you, case someone, not, right? if someone was like holiday coat. All right, this came from the bins. It did. And I did try it on and it did fit. <laughs> but it made me look like, what's that little girl with the... Madeline. Yes. I looked exactly like her. So I said maybe... Should we unfold and show? Yeah, let's show. So we found two of these at the bins, actually. And yeah, dress we found coats... another one recently. Here you go. Yeah, I think that dress hey, coats are good. good. There you go. Boom. We also have a new camera focusing system. We've been working for you guys behind the scenes. Out all the new things. But I do think resting is important because then you have new ideas. I agree with that. Yeah. We made a short. We made like a TikTok. Is that what we made? Do we make a TikTok? Well, not officially because we haven't posted it on TikTok. We can't figure out how to do that. If you know how to do that, <laughs> if you're young and know how to do that, let us know below. Anyway, this coat sold for $45 and we paid 70 cents for it. it. We, at our bins, first of all, we live in Texas, so there's a lot of coats in the bins and people don't really wear coats that much here. They do, but for like a month. Also, people tend to buy the lighter weight stuff at our bins, so this stuff will be sitting around and we buy it. Because we know that there's more profit normally in a heavier weight item like this and it was in good condition. This is going to Texas, so we are putting it in a regional box. If you're shipping to a state that's near you, adjacent to you, regional box, definitely check out the rates. I've could, heard, this is some tea here, coffee tea. Could be very advantageous. I've yeah. heard that regional boxes might be going away. It's on the chopping block, oh, but has no. not been determined yet. Don't go clutching your pearls yet. Too late. <laughs> Dan's pearls are clutched. We're using the priority mail stickers to ensure that the flaps stay closed on these that have the adhesive, because sometimes they want to sneak right on open. Sometimes, yeah, just depending on the age. And it right. saves us from using tape. Because that there you go. is free. What's next? Next, okay, this is a regional A, right? Regional mm -hmm. A box. Yep. Dimensions Needlecraft Felt Work Single Needle Felting Tool, brand new. It's this Got thing, this right? in a junk bag. I don't know. I'm not saying get all things, but I do normally pick up Arts and Crafts junk bag if they have like new things in them. I don't know what this is. I have no idea but I don't care. Actually, this would be really good for getting rocks out of shoes. Anyway, oh. it sold for $9.50 plus shipping. Okay. And all I have to do on eBay is go to the search field, click in there, and then I have a $20 scanner that's probably linked below. Scan the barcode, it basically creates my listing for me. I don't have to know what it is. <laughs> Love that. There you How go. much does it weigh? Two were, ounces. Were you sure that was on zero? Cause it wasn't a second ago. Yep. Okay. 
You have to re-center yeah. your scale sometimes. Look out for that. All right. Uh, 4660. This is a sport coat. Canali, size 44 regular. See how that's right up front? Charcoal gray two button sport coat jacket blazer. It's a sport coat, but I put jacket and blazer because some people don't know that it's a sport coat, <laughs> right? Some people call that a blazer. Right. So you want to put the technical term, but then also what people will be searching for. And some people search blazer. So yep. Canali's a great brand. We'll bring it in and excellent, show you. Excellent brand. Yeah. This is not is it not the brand new tag, but it's it's pretty recent. I it would does say. look newer. The, right? I think the brown tags are the what they had before their newest the newest one. There you go. Great. So if you see sport coats or suits from this brand, I would highly recommend looking it up and i mean if it's cheap enough definitely pick it up this sold for 89.96 and we paid 4.79 for it that's what i'm talking about yes. there's like i said at the beginning of the video there's some huge bolos that you would not expect maybe you would expect you know cannoli but there's some bolos in this that i'm like that's over <laughs> how much right. we were getting them coming through while we were sitting on the beach you know at the pool and it would come through and i'm like oh look at my watch that was a good one so it is possible to make money while you're on vacation. We do expect to have a lag in sales coming up, but hopefully the after Black Friday crowd boosts the sales enough to like even it out. You know what I mean? What do you think about that? I agree with that. So this uh, suit jacket is going to California. We have a lot going to California today. I kind of like to look at where things are going. Okay, this is gonna stay in a regional A. Great. Okay, the next is three, four, four, three. three These four, are a pair, it's probably on the bottom in the back. <laughs> this is probably gonna go in the bottom in the back there. I'm not sure how I, no, like, like, you know what I'm saying, because we pulled all of this stuff first. We have a lot, here we go, here it is. Okay. Okay. This is Cartonnier Anthropology Charlie Ankle Pant Embroidered Faux Leather Petite 00P. And I can tell that was an old listing because I normally put the size right after the brand now. That's what I've been doing. Cartonnier uh, is a gr greater, how do you say, like a more valuable anthropology brand. A higher end brand? Or yeah, they normally yeah. have a lot more details. Gosh, I wish, maybe here, try to put that in there and see if they can see the detail in that. It's really beautiful. It was hard to capture in our photos. Blue yeah. and black are so hard to capture. Well, with the the wrapper, I don't know if that's really. You can kind of see. Kinda. It's got this really nice embossed um, print on it. I don't pick up anthropology anymore, but this was an older piece, probably from a year and a half, two years ago. Sold for seventeen dollars plus eight ninety nine shipping. Careful on that one. I believe that that's priority. Really? Yes, because she she messaged me about it. I was talking to her. Okay, let me just make sure. Dun, 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 dun. She paid eight ninety nine. Yep. So here's the thing about this is a hot tip. Hot tip. If you have something listed as priority, but it's under a pound and it can go first class, and you send it first class, fine. Okay. You can do that. But you're taking a chance. It's risky. Because if it doesn't get there in two days, you get dinged on eBay. We did not know this when we started eBay. Because we're like, oh, it's under a pound. We'll just send it first class. It arrives as a late shipment because eBay assumes it's going to get there in two days if you ship it priority. Or three, whatever. Two or three, right. But if, if it goes after that, which are, a lot of ours were, we thought we were saving money. We're like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so since she paid $8.99 for expedited shipping, which is one of the options we offer, we have to send it that way. So off they go. <laughs> Next. That was just a flat rate envelope. We're getting low on those. Do we have any more of those cardboard ones? Uh, maybe. Okay, well, we check. put in your orders now, guys, for December at the USPSfreebox.com. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I just made that up. All right, this is a bathrobe. It is a bathrobe. But I sold it because it is big and it was in our way. Restoration Hardware, which is a great brand to look out for. Men's size small, terry towel, bathrobe, light brown, textured. And I believe this is bins. 
It is $1.67 uh, item cost. And we sold it for 17 But I think I had a boatload of shipping with 17. it. 17 Yeah. Yeah. We had it listed yeah, at 35 dollars 99 shipping. And we're going to need it because it yep. is stretching this box to its limits. And it is going to Oregon. So this might be better in a... Can it fit in a... In you know a what? In a Reach B? Uh, yeah, Oregon's probably. Oregon's kind of far, though. Yeah, let me see what that would be. We might just put it in a poly. I mean, it's Oof. a... Yeah, 1978 for a regional B. So what would it be if we... This is the fun part of the video, guys. When you get to see all the shipping options, we... Yeah, I mean, we could just put that into a poly. Well, let's see what sizes we have. Whoa. We packed some polys on our trip. I'm going to tell you about this. We got some polys coming up where you're going to be like, whoa, these are too big. Yeah, these are all too big. All, eat all of these? I don't know about those. We reuse Amazon. We have no shame. We don't care. Save the earth. Okay, what about this? This is a good one. Okay. So if you open your Amazon packages carefully, they, they double seal. So if you open it on this and you don't just like rip into it like a heathen, <laughs> then you still have a seal here and you can reuse it. Yes. So let's and, see how much this is going to be. Okay. And no, nobody has ever commented or cares nobody. that we reuse this stuff. Okay, I was going to weigh it. Oh, go for it. And then yeah. can you measure that flat? And we're going to see. This might be a cubic sitch. Sometimes on pirate ship, cubic works out for us. And not often, but sometimes. Two pounds, nine ounces. Well, with this, hold on. Two pounds, ten ounces. I just totally went blank on my measurements. <laughs> 19 by... I do that, too. 19 by 14. Mm. Wait, don't do 19. Don't do 19. No, 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 no. 18. 18. So what you can do is fold. It, as soon as you go over 18, it gets expensive. So you can fold your poly miller down so that it's... Yeah, when it's folded down, it's only 18. Don't go over 18 if you can help it. 1536. Okay, and then what about pirate ship? Could you just do the little checkeroo for us? For us interested parties? Okay. He doesn't like pirate ship. I. It's not... That's not... It's just frustrating because you have to go to a, another screen. But it might and, be worth it. But we're also running... We're running low on time. Because we have 40-something things to pack up and it's already 3.30. That's my only we're concern. We're gonna make it. It's all pulled. It's good. We're great. And we store things in the boxes like this. So it makes shipping super easy. Because we just open it up, put it in a poly mail, and right back in the box. And if we were really in a hurry, we could just send it like this. But we like to protect it. I'm just interested about cubic and how much savings there are to be had. Nope, 1583. Okay. Small and heavy is what they say. This is not small, but it is heavy. All right, but 15 so, is pretty good, right? Yeah, we're gonna lose like, what, three bucks yeah. in shipping? No, two bucks. Two bucks and change. Okay. That's okay. So, uh, we have picked up a Pottery Barn robe that did significantly better than this Restoration Hardware one. We only had it listed for 35 but it's huge, and we've had it listed for a long time, so I just took the offer. And I was like, whatever. This is going to Oregon, and... I don't know. We're still going to make money on it. Maybe 10 bucks, 12 bucks, something like that. When all is said and done. And guess what? It's out of our house. Look at that. It's probably even smaller now. Yeah, 14. 14 by 14. Well, see, well, check it out. Maybe it's better. Maybe the rate is better. You know, eBay's been. Here's more tea. eBay has been. Nope, same. Giving us shipping rebates like crazy now. Like, even if it's. Because we normally round up. They've been giving us, like, here... We'll just put it over that. Yeah, okay. Here's 17 cents. And we're like, okay. That's new. Well, that's because... The only reason that happened is because No, we... it's happened... Not that. Not that. No? It's happened other times now. It's been happening... Sorry to cut you off, but it has okay. been... What do I write here? What was this? Ten, 14 by 14. 14, 14, 210. 210. Okay, 40, 59, 24. This is a Peter Millar... Summer Comfort, Men's Extra Large, Polo Purple, Periwinkle, The Phoenician. So, uh, Peter Millar Summer Comfort, golf shirts, polo shirts, 
Um, I always recommend picking these up. These are usually always a pretty good, I wouldn't, I hate, I hesitate to say guaranteed flip, but they almost always sell for us. Some um, for more than others, right? Yeah, and even like I said, if they're branded or embroidered from a country club, that won't affect, you know, it won't bring the value down for sure. Some of them are worth crazy amounts of money. This sold for 20 bucks. And I want to stop and pause everything. And I want I want you to I, I want you to show them this. I want you to show them this. Okay. I want you guys when you're buying poly mailers to maybe consider this size. Because it looks too small, right? I'm gonna tell you what size this is. Can you measure this? What is this? These are the ones we sold for a little while ago. They're like 12 by seven and a half. Can you fold them over? Is that 12? Did I measure that right? No. 11. Seven and a half by yeah, 11. So remember 711 or 712, whatever it is. That size poly mailer can fit a regular shirt a lot of times. And we can cut down on the plastic usage that way. And they're cheaper. Cut down on your costs, cut down on plastic. I would just consider it. Show them how that fits in there. You it's real nice. It in half. Just fold it in half. See? So when you're going to order more polys for the Christmas, holiday, Hanukkah season, maybe consider that. This sold for 20 bucks. Not the best flip, but it's good. This is about the lowest we'll ever expect from a summer comfort. Yeah. 46, 48 is a box. Eileen Fisher, women's size petite small, PS, that's what I put, red wool cashmere jacket open front. Okay, you know Eileen Fisher's our girl. What would we say? <laughs> Come on, Eileen. Every time I sell. Uh, this sold for $80. Nice. Yeah. Nice. You know what? This was a bins find. Yes. 70 cents. Check this out. All right, here we go. For those of you that don't know. Come on, Eileen. There you go. Eileen Fisher in all sizes sells for us. Yeah. Blanket statement. So we paid 70 cents for it, and it sold for $80, and it's going to Tennessee. And 80, even 80 bucks is a pretty good deal, because yeah. the retail on this is probably, what, close to 200 I think it was more than that. I think it was like three or 400 Add the bins, and I bet you we're never the first people to the bin. If you've never been to the bins, it's called the Goodwill Outlet. And it's just you kind of dig through these big blue bins. We're never the first people there. No. But I'm betting that we were able to pick this up because it was petite. And the reseller was like, no, I don't do petite. Mm -hmm. But it's over $80. So we'll do it. Also, I tried it on. Don't worry. Too big. <laughs> I tried on all the red coats. I want a red coat yeah. so bad. Okay, pass one. I just got a weird notification on my watch about my phone. What did it say? Charging on hold. Charging will resume when iPhone returns to normal temperature. Oh, it's getting hot. It's getting hot. So this is going to go probably in a regional, right? Yeah. Regional A box. And Tennessee is a good state to ship regional A for us. We normally get good rates. Okay, let me try to find it. I'll, I'll work on the next one before you. That's, that's the workflow here. I should be finding it while you're packing it. We're figuring out. This needs a new box or some tape on it. Okay. The next thing I thought would go for more, but it's still a good profit. A vintage L.L. Bean men's fleece pullover jacket, royal blue, teal pockets, USA, size extra large, tall. And you want to put that. If it is a tall in L.L. Bean, put it because that makes it value, more valuable to those people looking for a tall. It's cool, right? It is cool, yeah. Might have to go into poly again. Eh, it's going to it going? Indiana. Straight up. Okay. Straight up, okay. Okay. No, if I put it. it in a, if I just fold it properly and put it into a poly, I think I can fit it into a regional. You know, just kind of squeeze the air out of it. Okay. Okay, there's a semi-big bolo coming up next. 
this one is one that's sort of a bolo, but the brand and the item overall is a huge holiday bolo. No, it's not the Farming 56. I've never heard anyone talk about it except us. But if you've been watching for a while, you know that we sell the crap out of these things. And if you're new, you want to pay attention to the next item. You got me all excited. I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, you're about to. Oh, it's Mr. Bingle. Mr. Bingle. Yeah, man. Mr. Bingle. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry. Okay. This is Mr. Bingle. If you're from New Orleans, you know Mr. Bingle. And this Mr. Bingle is new with tags. Guess where this is going? Uh, Louisiana. I'm guess New Orleans. It's going to Louisiana. This sold for ten dollars. Mr. Bingles are not expensive, but they are a New Orleans tradition. Mr. Bingles in the tag here. People collect them. This one is from 2015. They always look like this. There's different versions each year, but they always have an ice cream cone head. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask. If you see these, some of we sold a Mr. Bingle for like 150 before. Some of the years, are, especially the 80s, are very hard to come by. And people have collections of these for years. We had this one listed at 50 and someone sent an offer for $39.95 and I took it. We have been taking offers recently because we were on vacation and you know, we need to make money. So this is from Animal Adventure. I'm not sure if all Mr. Bingles are from Animal Adventure. I'm just not sure. But this one is, and it's a, uh, brand new so we're gonna put mr bingle here in a box so his tag doesn't get messed up do you want to know the story of mr bingle i think you do the story of mr bingle when santa left his shop one day he found a snowman near his sleigh you'll be my helper he said and tapped the little fellow's head the snowman found that he could talk look santa i can even walk and then he gave a little sigh oh how i wish i could fly to santa Oh, so Santa gave him holly wings, then looking through his Christmas things, found ornaments the very size to make a pair of shining eyes. Then Santa said, you need a hat and ice cream cones just right for that. And keep this candy cane with you. You'll see what magic it can do. The snowman laughed and sang a jingle, so Santa named him Mr. Bingle. Oh my God. That's how it <laughs> happened. Now he's here for us to enjoy throughout the year, y'all. I have died inside. <sighs> Mr. Frickin' Bingle, you gotta look for this. All right, LL Bean Fleece. Whoa! Into a regional A. Okay, good I job. I don't have any of these left in here. Okay, well, we have to restock. Yeah, we should have done that earlier. Okay. We're, we're, we're doing okay. Don't um, be so hard on yourself, give yourself some grace. Okay, I'm not sure why, but this Mr. Bingle was $7.82. Maybe this was from an estate sale. We do find Mr. Bingles at estate sales. If you can find a Mr. Bingle collection. Oh, man. I'll jump all over there. If you live in Louisiana, you should really check all your estate sales. Let me put that into a, a little poly here for little something, some something. protection. Four four eight zero. This is going through the global shipping program, which more reseller tea, ding ding ding, tea time <laughs> is being discontinued. They are reformulating the GSP, the global shipping program, which is where you send it to Kentucky and then they do everything from there. Supposedly, it's getting improved. It's, it's going to be called eBay international i think don't quote me i don't know they have a different name for it and it's starting i think january 23rd maybe january in january check your ebay updates because if you if you look, look at the emails or you check on the seller hub you can find out a lot of stuff and it's a big honking change so all of us that do global shipping what else i am mr bingle seven ounces Seven ounces. Here you go. Thank you. This is going, I don't remember which country it's going to. It does tell you on your app, but this is just saying Kentucky right now because it's going through the GSP while it's still around. I'm sure there will be some growing pains, right? Yeah. 
This is Black Hearts Brigade Men's Size Medium Blazer Jacket Cool Punk Rebel Gray Military. This thing is super cool. I just keyword packed the title because I didn't really know what it was. Yeah, check this thing out, man. It's cool. We buy everything that looks like this, right? Pretty much, yeah. So there's the front, and it's got this big lion crest on the back. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is super cool. Right. Got these cool metal buttons, kind of like a raw edge. And it so. doesn't feel cheap. Like, it looks right. a little, like, what do you call it? It looks a little rugged. Yeah. But it feels expensive. There you go. It says Black Hearts Brigade. It's very hard to read, even yes. with your regular light. But it was cool. It kind of reminds me of like Panic at the Disco, sort of like that. Flip this thing it's back a little emo, out. a little. I don't know. <laughs> and anyway, it sold for $85. Sweet. And I don't know how much they paid to ship it. We don't get that figure unless you go digging. Because we just have to pay to get it to Kentucky, which for us is a regional box every day, all day. Yep. That makes shipping very nice through the GSP. Yeah. So, yeah, I had never heard of that brand. I don't know anything about it. But the reason I stopped and looked it up was on the tag, it says, uh, created and destroyed in Los Angeles. So, this was kind of like Barbados-y. Yeah, totally. We love John Barbados. This week, I would definitely turn on your notifications for when we have videos coming out because we have some hauls. We've been thrifting to travel and traveling to thrift, if you know what I mean. So we have some built up. We've been traveling a lot. That's why we haven't been here. Yeah. But the thrift halls are amazing. Yeah, we've been finding some good stuff while out of town. Basically, it's paid for all of our trips, which is amazing. So we want to get those hauls posted this week, turn on the bell notification. I know it's not working for some of you, but I don't know. I have no control over that. Some people said their notifications aren't working. No, Reg. Slam it. No, I don't. Maybe we can just beg Peter to pay Paul. I don't know Is if that, we have any. I might have to just. Wait, what are these down here? They're 1097s. Mm. Yeah. Well, what about some of these? I'll tell you if we have one that's not going. You know what? I'll look. Yeah, look. I will look. If we have one where a regional is not I can great. Trade it out. Yeah, we'll just trade it. Okay. Okay, this thing's going to. Oh, that's a. Mm -hmm. We really need to order more boxes. We're going to yeah. do that. The... Okay, that Free People Sweater 4677 is going to New York. No way. So we store almost everything in a regional box because we live in Texas and basically the middle of the country. So like most things are kind of close to us, with the exception of Washington State and New York. We never ship regional to there. Uh, I wouldn't say never. Okay. It's not our first choice. Like, that 1097 box in there will probably be the same price to send it to New York. But the regional and the 1097 to go to Kentucky is not the same price. So we're going to, if we have to do it, we're going to use the regional to Kentucky instead of New York. For sure. I was trying to make that clear. Hopefully that's clear. Okay, the next one is, I'm trying to find it for you, 5083, the brown fleece kind of a thing. What is it? Yes. Is that 50? Yeah. Sounds like it's the Robert Graham. Okay, oh, it doesn't have, a, doesn't have a ticket. Oh, okay. So this is Robert Graham, which do, used to do so well for it us. used to do so good. Uh, it has calmed down a lot, so I I still pick it up sometimes, especially at the bins, but I don't pay up anymore for it. This is a Robert Graham Men's Size 2XL Dark Brown One Half Zip Sweater Thick 100% Wool Classic. Back in the day, this would have sold for 100 bucks all day long. Yeah. It's a heavier piece, whatever. This sold for $30. What's the shipping on this thing? It's going to Missouri. First class. Better, we better check on that. Okay. Ooh, hoo, 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 gotta take it out of this. It's gotta come out of that, kids. 
We need a thin poly. Is that a thin poly? Yep. And right on the edge. Ooh. Oh, nice. I, we should show them the Robert Graham tag, though. Okay. So that's going to... We're good. Right at? Yeah, we're right at. Okay. You all want to see what the brand looks like. There's this brand that's, like, such a fake. Alan... <laughs> Alan Flusser. Flusser. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> totally ripping off the style. That's funny. Yeah. There you go. It's a nice piece. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with Robert Graham. The quality is fantastic. The resale value has just plummeted. Right. That happens. I mean, there's a few, you know, a few pieces that are still valuable, like some of the limited edition uh, print right. uh, dress shirts and stuff like that. But as a whole, yeah, the resale value of the brand is kind of taking a nosedive. So we have different weights of poly millers, and we have some that are thinner. This one's thinner. <laughs> We're using like the thinnest poly miller we have. We also get the generic labels for our Dymo and they weigh less because they're thinner. <laughs> we're like try to keep whenever something's on the edge like this, we're like yee. So, yeah, this is right at right at 16 ounces. Mm-hmm. Yep. Alright. The next is 22. It oh. is an Eileen Fisher. 6022? Yeah. Okay. The black. Yeah. Eileen Fisher, size medium, black maxi skirt, linen, cotton, no pockets, double split. When you're selling maxi skirts, it's really important, in my opinion, to note if they have a slit and where it is. There are a lot of people looking for modest maxi skirts. And if you, it's hard to get the slit in the picture if you're doing a flat lay. So I put it right in the title and this had two slits. So I didn't want to risk a return with someone just buying it, thinking that they were getting, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm Totally. Saying. Eight ounces on that day. Eight ounces. That sold for $35, which is pretty much the lowest value we'll sell any. I think, I think Fisher for Adidas. We've had this forever. I don't even remember buying this ever. I don't even know what this is. It's, I think it's this... new with tags. It's an Adidas soccer shirt. Oh, it's probably maybe because the world cup just started. Oh, right. If you have World Cup stuff, maybe that's doing well. Also, I heard Green Power Ranger stuff is the... I almost said the fellow. The like, fellow. Who, who am I? <laughs> the guy who played the Green Power Ranger has passed away, and so all the Green Power Ranger stuff is selling like crazy today. List it if you got it. Uh, okay. This Adidas Climacool... Where did this come from? I don't have any idea. We don't know, but it's new with heads. Adidas Climacool Women's Size Small Tiro. Tiro? T I R O? Sure. 17. Soccer jersey, V neck, blue, white, new, new with tags. I put new in all caps and then NWT. If I'm going to put. If I'm going to use the three characters to say that it's new with tags, I'm going to put new over NWT all, all day, every day. Right. Because not everybody knows what NWT means. And it means new with tags, but that's like an old eBay thing. And most resellers know what it means, but not buyers. Right. So I am just, what was this? Six. I just recommend writing new. Uh, okay. The next one is 4298 Statement. Statement Confidence. I don't even know what this is. Statement <laughs> Confidence Blazer Sport Coat. Super 150s wool. Okay. Okay. Size 40 regular navy dual vents. Super 150s is very nice. Yes. It is very soft and smooth. That means that the yarn is very, very thin that's woven and it is very fine. Yes. This is what the tag looks like. I think it's actually called Statement. It is. We've actually sold a couple of pieces from this brand before. Really? Yep. Hmm. So, are you ready for it? We need like a bell. <laughs> when something sells for a hundred or over, we need a bell. I know, right? Sound effects. We need a soundboard. Make the thing go. Batty, 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 batty. Uh, yeah, <laughs> batteries, I think. Oh man. Uh, we paid eight ninety nine for this. And it and sold, sold for one hundred dollars. Yes. And yes. it's going to Ohio. Yes. Ohio. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, you could do your wah, 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 do that. Oh, the reggae horn. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Called it. New segment called Over a Hundo. Yeah. No. New segment called Over a Hundo. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Refresh. All right, this morning, Rejay. 
Yes, it is. Read it away. Man, we have a lot of stuff going on. I'm so happy about it. I still think we're going to be under our numbers, though. There you go. Thank you. All right. The next thing is going to Dallas, Texas. Did you see that? Eileen Fisher, if you're keeping count, that's number three. Women's size large slouchy 100% Georgette ankle gray pull on pant. Do your noise, do your noise. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> so for $119. $119? I think they're new. They, they must be new. But they're still going first place. <laughs> well, they're going to Dallas anyway. Whoa! Oh. So they'll get there in a day anyway. Have a little tumble there. Also, you guys, are you proud of us? Look at our, this is our log of stuff that we list every day, and it's like mostly hangers. I'm not going to say that most of it's sitting in our living room, <laughs> waiting to be hauled for you. Or in one of the other rooms. Yeah. <laughs> our whole house is overtaken. It's, it's fine. No, it's We're fine. fine. It's really not fine. It's fine. We're just going to list send, like crazy. Send help. <laughs> Matt Paxton, I'm talking to you. Oh my god, love Matt Paxton. <laughs> what is Matt Paxton? He should be a reseller. He probably gets some good stuff. All right. Okay. Nine ounces. All right. The mm -hmm. next is five eight seven three. Sorry, I keep failing at my job. Whatever. It's, uh, no, it's five, but not that. Oh, I ripped it. Oh, way to oh, go. Oh, great. Just great. It's five, eight, seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I guess it's not five. This is Lafayette 148. Yes, it does sell sometimes. Size medium, blue, white stripes. Lin this is not That's this. That's not it. This is the wrong item. This is not that. That is definitely not it. <laughs> Uh-oh. This is a CB well, Shades. Yeah, that's the CB Shades. Just check on the um, Vendu because it's in the picture probably. Sometimes this happens. I type in the wrong number and we have to re-pull it. Tell me what it is. I'll get it. Ho! Oh. Yeah, it would help if I spelled it right. Hang on. <laughs> 5874. 5874. Damn. Why you always read the titles? I guess Thank I you. I'm gonna put this in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's better. So yeah, Lafayette 148 has it's it's getting better for us. It has been starting to move. Because we do have quite a few of pieces of it. This didn't sell for a lot. Okay, but it's still It's sold. a basic. Do you want to show them the label or not? Sure. You guys know this label? There you go. This sold for $21. But it's just a basic button down, but it does have linen in it. I believe that we we kind of like bought out an estate sale, and I think that's where this came from. Yeah. We haven't been doing estate sales recently. I saw some of your comments like do more estate sales, but we haven't been because they're just I guess they just do them in the summer. I don't know. How much this way? Eight ounces? Yep. The next are the Skechers Shape Ups. Oh, Lord, y'all. Pray for us. $41.93. Uh, we just we sold these. I know. I think this is the last pair we ever were going to have. We sold a pair on Poshmark, and we, you, we sold them on... We, what am I trying to say? We showed you. Yes. That we twisted them. We... No. The poor lady wore them, and they fell completely apart. So we will not be picking these up anymore, because there's no way to test them. That's foolproof unless you wear them. Dan? These look pretty good though. So do the other ones. No, like a lot better. Okay, they do? Yeah, like a lot. They look newer for sure. Yeah, and like this this is this feels much better. The soles look really good. I think yeah, we're gonna be okay on these. 
Okay, these are going to South Carolina. South Carolina. And they sold for $20. I took 20 because I'm just like, I don't want to be involved. I do not want to be involved with shape ups ever again. We did everything we could and I did message a lady. I'm like, I'm really sorry. Like we did try to test these. Yeah. They just have a propensity to break down over time. Like dry rod, that's just the name of the game. So I'm just not gonna sell them anymore. Hopefully these are okay. Are gonna get some tissue? Sure. You guys, is Costco selling tissue paper yet? Please let us know below. We're waiting on you to let us know. That's where we get our tissue paper and we love it. Because it's it. cheap and it's larger. It's larger. This is baby stuff. No, it's not good. I don't like it as much. Baby tissue. Mm. I'm going to be able to smoosh yeah. it. Yeah, toy. Some toy. I think we had an extra shoe box like chilling over there. If you can't make it work. He made it work. All right. Okay, huge bolo. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Sorry, false alarm. The next one is an anti-bolo. Anti-bolo. <laughs> the next one, we're like, please leave my house. Three. Oh no, I'm sorry. Wait, I need the what is this? Regional what? A. Yeah. Uh, I was looking for a 2479. My brain was in two different places. 479. I don't think we pulled it. No. Oh no, it's right there. It's an envelope. We used to store all of our inventory in these tieback envelopes. Because we only used to sell on Poshmark. So that tells you how old this one is. This is Disney Pixar Monsters University polo shirt blue, striped, size medium, men's medium, NWT. $15. I don't know why this didn't sell for more. It's oh, cool yeah. and it's got tags and I don't know. Maybe box lunch. I do not know. I don't know anything about Monsters University, but this is a box lunch collection. I have no idea polo shirt it's a pk can you bring this in so we can show them what a pk is Ooh. most polo shirts are a pk knit you see that texture mm-hmm nice that's called a pk now you know p-i-q-u-e i believe this is going to my hometown of fredericksburg virginia okay what am i doing here i'm trying to Get in there. Drinking iced coffee. We get the boxes of it now from Costco. The Chameleon Cold Brew. Mm hmm Amazing. Way better than Starbucks. Way better. Anything's better than Starbucks in my mind. Okay. How many have we sold? We're going to have to do a count. Because the next one is Eileen Fisher again. <laughs> I think we're on four or five. I think you're right. All right, this guy is eight ounces. All right, Eileen Fisher, size extra large, black waffle knit, open front cardigan, jacket duster layer. That was my title. And it sold for $40. Nice. This is kind of like a robe. We didn't know how to list it, to be honest. It's got this really nice silk lining. We're not gonna open it up because it's black. But it's a waffle. Doesn't it remind you of a robe? Absolutely. But yeah, like a robe so. you can wear out into the daylight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. $40 seemed good to me. Okay. Sometimes with Eileen Fisher, there's not really any comps because there's so many styles you can't really find exactly what you're looking for. And I price every single Eileen Fisher. 
<laughs> Eileen Fisher piece at $59.95 if I don't know. And so I probably did and it's over 40. It's going to California. So depending on the weight of that buddy. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can put this into a padded. <laughs> hey, you cray. No. You think you can fit that? He's gonna try to fit it into a padded slot, right? Let us know if this format works for you. So you I wanted you to be able to see more of the shipping situation without me blocking it. And you, you love to see Dan shove things into pad of flowers. <laughs> oh my god. Can you help me out? Ah! This is the hot dog method. <laughs> this is a proprietary technique. Post office does not like when you reinforce the tape on the pad of flat rates. I don't know about your post office. <laughs> That's how we do it. Padded flat rate envelope. There we go. And right now, I think those are 830. Yep. Okay, the next is an older piece. I don't know why this didn't sell for much, but whatever. Lululemon size 6 cardigan. I it's called Cardi in the Back Dark Gray Cashmere Cardigan Sweater Grandpa. It's sold for 20 bucks. <coughs> but I only I think I had it listed for 30. The comps just weren't great. Well, we only paid 2 dollars for it, so. Right. And not all Lulu is great. That's just how it is. Yep. Cardigan. We don't pay up for Lululemon ever. Nope. We used to when we were baby resellers. <laughs> All baby resellers check in. <laughs> I love it when people are like, they put the little hand emoji. Funny. I'm a baby reseller. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> 11 ounces. Okay, so this is the Michelob, uh, 6033. I almost donated this. I was like, eh. There was a ton of listeds in the same size and they were only going for like $20. But, like, it was cool. So I listed it, and it sold almost immediately. It's a vintage Michelob jacket men's size medium, black satin style, lightweight, made in the USA. <clears throat> and it just had, like, an embroidered Michelob logo, yeah. logo on it. And I don't know why. There was a ton of them listed in the same size, and are sold. 20 bucks plus shipping. So I was about to donate it. We donate stuff where it's, like, the market is saturated, and it's, like, $20 or below. We normally just re-donate it. 11 how much should we pay for that? Two ninety nine. No, no one ninety nine. One ninety nine. Wait, what did I just totally drew blank? Eleven. <laughs> well, I wrote eleven here, and I was like, am I just copying that? All right, we got it. We got some electronics. All right. We're almost done with the electronics. Here it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. The dust is getting to me. This is a Sony AB selector. It's going international, and I need to wipe it with a baby wipe. It is going and this through. This is way too tall. I'm going to cut it down. It's, Ooh, it's way bonus. too wide also, but it's long enough. So well, how long does it need to be? Because I have some boxes in there. I've got an 18-inch one. Okay. That might work better than this one. This one's 20. Well, how long? But we do want to bubble wrap it and stuff, so. Yeah. That's a really big box for this. I wonder if there's a way we could, you know, put two together. I know the time. Fast or drift it. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're that bad on time. It's only four. We're doing all right. We're on page three of five. Thanks for sticking around. So how, how long is the thing? 17. Okay, so this one was smaller, I believe. You want to try that one? I mean, it's basically the same size. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah whatever. I'm just 
bubble wrap it and stretch it. Oh, wait, I got one. I got one. Hold on. Hold on, friend. All right, all right. What is this one? Oh, oh so good. good. Look how one. good this is. Three, 18, 15, three. It's way too wide. But whatever. Is it good? Is it better? Sure. I don't have to cut it down. Okay. I'll put that in here. Just slide it on over. So the most packages, I think, is today that we've ever shipped out of here. Mm -hmm. 40 was our record before. And now we're like, I don't know, 45 or something today. <clears throat> Maybe 46. I can't remember. I think it's 45. We had to rearrange things so that we could fit. We get our bubble wrap from American Bubble Boy. It arrives next day. But I know that it arrives next day for like a lot of people. Yeah. So I don't know. Oh my god. Hold something. No thanks. Alright. So while he's doing that, that's sold for $25. But it's out of our house, so that's great. <laughs> and it's going to another country via the global shipping program. So we just have to get it to Kentucky. I'm going to do the next one right now. a little bit of a pinger but it's not always a pinger i just pick up every single one of these that i see at the bins this is aiden by aiden and anias it's just a swaddle blanket but sometimes a kid loses their blankie and the parent will pay whatever they have to pay to find it so some of these are more rare than others this is an elephant print so this sold for ten dollars plus shipping and it is going to Austin, Texas. I like that brand a lot. So did this not have a ticket? What am I what am I missing here? It did not have a ticket. I'll I'll make one of just okay, okay, cool. We use a ticketing system. There are many videos on our channel about how we do it. It just helps us keep track of the cost of goods so we know if we're making good purchases or not. But I definitely know this came from the bins. I don't pick these up unless it's from the bins. Uh, if you want to write down the dimensions of this box. Sure. 18, 15, 3. 18, 15, 3. It's good that it did not go over 18 inches because that makes the it's shipping. Surcharge. Surcharge, yes. I'm gonna do them, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. 18 times 15 times three, 18, we're good. It's not dimensional shipping. If it was dimensional shipping, oh, we'd have to try UPS or something else. Okay, so Dan's gonna make a ticket for this. Use that ticket. I'm just gonna keep going because why not? Sixty twenty-one. I want to teach you something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why, but I just had fire marshal doing my head. Let me show you something. <laughs> okay, whoa, <laughs> that is not me. All right, this is Masuk and it's new with tags. We love selling this brand. And I'm gonna teach you about this style of this. So this is what Masuk looks like. And um, this is a skirt. If you're getting stuff from estate sales, you wanna make sure that the elastic is still working. Sometimes the estate sales stuff is dry rotted and the elastic will be like crunch, 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 break, break, break. And then you don't wanna buy it. Uh, the AV thing weighs four pounds, 
14 ounces. Okay. I need a ticket for this. That's, that's the... Oh. What is that ticket? I thought we didn't know. I just, I oh. didn't know where it was. Okay. This is the 8 Okay. Right. Here's what I'm going to teach you. So when a skirt has a hem like this, it's called a car wash hem. And I think you can see why, right? Because, you know, when you go through the car wash... <laughs> This is amazing. High quality cinematic entertainment you get on this channel. Yeah, it's that's like actually what it's called, a car wash hem. And so we did this on a flat lay because if you do it on a mannequin, you don't get this effect. And we spread out the hem so you can see it. Some people love a car wash hem. Anyway, so this is Masuk. Not Women's Miss Look, <laughs> which is a brand. It's horrible. That looks very, the tag looks almost identical. You gotta be really careful. Uh, this car, so I said Miss Sook, women's size small, black midi skirt, car wash hem, career, brand new with tags. I literally wrote brand new with tags because I had that much space left. So might as well use it. Yep. And it sold for $50. Beautiful. Miss Sook always sells around, I don't know, 40 to 80. And then sometimes if you get like outerwear, it can go for over a hundred. It's just a solid brand for us. We just pick it up and... It just performs really well. Particularly the basics. Like, sometimes they have some dated, like, stripey things that aren't as good. But this one was great, obviously. Okay. Humongo Bolo oh, coming up. Wah, 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 wah. Yes. Humongous Bolo. And it's a style Bolo, not a brand Bolo. What? So this is one you want to pay attention to. You want to stop what you're doing. Hopefully you're working along with us, but stop what you're doing because this is that important. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Twelve. Twelve ounces. This. Yes! Look at these things. These are candies. I knew about these. These were just chilling at the thrift store. No one was buying them. I used to sell these at Kohl's. I worked at Kohl's when I was 15 years old. We sold these boots. I wanted them, <laughs> which means that people want them now. Yes. This is a Y2K 90s, late 90s, early Y2K style. This big, chunky boot. It does not matter the brand. But this thing, these are real leather. I don't know if Candies makes anything in real leather anymore. I'm going to show you. Does Candies make anything in it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but this is definitely vintage. These boots have never been worn. There is no signs of wear in them whatsoever. Look at this old logo. Candies. And see, this is like, wait, I got to show you the right side. This is totally just like, I'm going to move my finger. And you can see there's no wear on the size tag or anything. These have never, ever, ever been worn. So I would always look out for this big, it's almost like a clown shoe. <laughs> I mean that in the best way. Yeah. Uh, we had these sitting around. We just like never got to list them. Finally listed them. They sold immediately. Yep. And they had so much attention on all platforms. They sure did. Leather upper, balanced man-made, made in China, eight and a half medium. These sold for $150. We had them listed for 200 but I took 150. They do have some scuffs, which we noted. Excellent, excellent pickup. And there is a like marking on the bottom. I don't care. It's from the thrift store. It says two one two oh four one. So like, it's not a price. Are you kidding me? What? Barely fit. They'll go. Yeah, they'll go. Do we want to put some put them in a poly or something? Oh, that was something. I think if we had waited, we could maybe have made a little more on these. But when somebody flashes $150 in my face and I'm on vacation, right? I'm going to take it. These are going to California, which does not surprise me at all. Just a little bit too big. Okay, what if we use a big poly and then we put them together? Oh, it's a small one. We need to organize. Oh lord, oh lord. We're having an avalanche. He's big. Oh yeah. Yep. Big boy. 
save every single Amazon poly. We never throw them away. That's why would we? It's free. I love free. When they send like the same day things in these big polys with one little thing, yeah. I'm always like, yes. Okay, this one works this way. And I think that any shoe that, that is that shape will do well, particularly if it's leather. I know Steve Madden made shoes at that time. Delia's made some shoes at that time. Can Hard candy, do they still make stuff? Arizona, it, the brand does not matter at all, in my opinion. Yes, you got it. Okay. Perfection. So this is gonna be over a pound, so oh, we are yeah. going to Measure and weigh. Measure and weigh. 150 bucks. We paid. 6.59. I actually think that was like 40% off of that too, because it's uh, from Savies. Uh, no, I would have done that. Oh. So that's probably like 8.99 or whatever. Uh, 16.10 six. Three pounds, 12 ounces. Perfection. Okay. <laughs> we need a big, maybe one of those big poly, uh, big bubbles. This is Hallmark White Bear Plush Bella with Rose Blushing Teddy Bear, 14 inches. Love Valentine's. This little guy's cute. Cute. We were buying too much plush at the time. We have backed off of buying plush a lot. Yeah. But we still buy it, and you're going to see why. We have a good one coming up. But we don't buy it as much. <laughs> Lovely. Nine ounces. Okay, the next thing is from Anthro, and I keep saying I'm not picking up Anthro, but then I pick it up, it's fine. This thing had so much interest. It's actually sold twice. The first person didn't pay. Somebody on Poshmark bought it and then canceled. So it's an in-demand item. It's a Sparrow Anthropology size large stitchy peplum cardigan, chunky knit cream. And it's beautiful. So I pick up knits from Anthro from time to time when they're substantial and they have a cool pattern. This one had a peplum hem. It's really, really pretty. And I had a stock photo for it. If I can find the name of Anthro, it always sells better for me. And this one sold for $50.99 going to Illinois. So a regional box, I think. It's definitely over a pound, right? Uh, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's got $8.99 shipping on it. Mm -hmm. Are you guys still there? Is anyone still out there? I love that because now there's timestamps, you know, you can tell when people make comments. I'm gonna be like, I'm here. <laughs> Is anyone there? You're not gonna believe what the oldest item in our inventory was. Well, basically the oldest item. It's sold in this video, you'll see it. You're not gonna believe it. You're gonna be like, how Why did that not sell? Yeah, I asked myself that question. Like, what? I can't believe we still have it. Can I try this again? Okay. Turn out so loud. Just keep looking at the camera like, smile pretty. You got it. Yeah, man. Padded, flat, rate, envelope. I'm writing this on our pick list. Gonna, we're getting a little full here. We're still got a couple pages to go. Hopefully you guys are still there. Hang out with us. The next thing is a fresh produce, still love picking up this brand, size large tank t-shirt dress sleeveless drink graphics print navy blue sold for $28 and it's going to Canada. Do you want to show them the fresh produce 
logo. We're still doing fine on time, don't you worry. I'm always worried about time. Why? I don't know. This is an older Fresh Produce logo, but it's good. Ah, I can't even. All right. Okay. There you go. Oh, you got light in it. Yeah, you got to use the, no, the other one. This one? Mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> well, we tried. We tried. I don't know why that didn't work. Anyway, this is going to Canada. We ship anything that is under two pounds. We do the eBay International program, not the global shipping program, because it eBay is eBay Standard International. Excuse me, eBay Standard International. The global shipping is very expensive for buyers, and the eBay Standard is less expensive. It's so expensive. I think the person probably paid eighteen dollars to get this shipped. Yep. But it's better than the global shipping. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, I can't believe there's any more of these things. Whoa, I just killed myself. Whoa. Nine ounces. So we are trying our best to show you the CDs. Mm -hmm. um, there's some I checked and there are. We're, we're trying our best to show you how we ship things. If you have questions or if you've never done eBay before, you can watch our videos and hopefully. Is there a ticket for those? Yes. Who's with them? We definitely brought it in here. It must have blown off or something. Uh, oh, hey, okay. okay, these are some um, computer games. They're classic hidden object adventures games. We got these for free from my friend. And we keep selling them and we're almost out. Thank goodness. These sold for $10 plus shipping. But they're free. Is it medium alpha? I can never remember that. No. no. Okay. And uh, I'm not sure we would have listed them today. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I'm not sure it's been worth it. I know we have profited. We normally profit two or three bucks each time, but they were free and it was one listing and a lot of quantity. So there's a store called Dirt Cheap and every quarter they do this cart thing where you can buy a whole cart for $10. A whole cart, a shopping cart <laughs> full of things for $10. Oh, you just, you just, <laughs> Dan's just going. Get it out of here. Come <laughs> on. Um, all right, Doug the Pug. Who? He over here. Anyway, the, her mom bought one, and everything they didn't want to keep for themselves, they gave to us. And a lot of it went back to Goodwill. Well, went to Goodwill. This is Doug the Pug. Red bandana plush keychain with plastic clip. 3.5 inches tall. Rare. Rare. Very rare. He's over $11 plus shipping. Perfect. Cute. That must have been in a junk bag, which is like a grab bag. I call them junk bags. They're not all junk. I love them. I love with listing stuff from them. Mobetta. Mobetta. Mobetta's next. So basically, we're going to show you what we do in a workday, but today, all we can do is shipping. <laughs> it's the whole workday. This is Mobetta, size extra large, Garth Brooks, western shirt, red, black, plaid, Vintage. Yeah, man. So for thirty dollars, I, I don't even know what it. It was eight ninety nine shipping, really. It was. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because it's a heavy, big heavyweight shirt. I mean, it's like a one pound shirt. Just over, yeah. Yeah. It says Mobetta down the sleeve or something. It does. Yeah. We're not gonna take it out. Sorry. Yeah. Because I've barely got it to fit into this yeah. bag. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to Texas. So that's a shame. If you right. wanted to try to squeak by with first class, you could probably. If it's in your home state. Oh, for the time? Yeah. yeah but nah. We're not going to do that. Yeah, but no, but. Nip, 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 nip. Flat rate envelope. Oh, come on now. Got it? Mm hmm. It's kind of being a little difficult. Okay. Not the prettiest seal, but I got it. 
Hey. So we have sold more pool table fabric. If you guys remember the story, we went to the Dallas bins and I found all this really nice fabric and I thought it was for men's suits. And I was like, this is so nice. We have to get it. And Dan's like, all right. Okay. Cause when you feel something is really, really high quality. Well, it turns out all the fabric we bought, we bought like yards and yards and yards of it was for pool tables to yeah. recover them. And Dan did all the research. And so this is the Simonis brand. Uh, excuse me while I find it. Seven foot Simona 760 olive billiard pool table worsted felt cloth, not pre-cut. And this piece of fabric that we got from the bins for no money, how much was it? 70 cents. <laughs> was uh, It sold for $140. Yes! Wah, 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 wah. See? 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 <laughs> yes! And it is going to Oklahoma City. So if we could fit that into a regional, we are the golden we have sold a couple of pieces of this so far and we have a couple more in there to list i think mm -hmm. uh one of them's coming back because the person didn't read can't like, read didn't read this pool table fabric is top notch though and it is very expensive yes it is so people have been buying it i get scared selling things that i you know don't know anything about So that is a bolo. Feel everything. I always say look in the linens bins. Our, our bin separates. I don't know why, but some of the bins have linens and others don't. I always go through the linens bins because there's always something good in there. Almost always. We have another good thing coming up. Very good. In yeah, fact. we do. Is it Rejay? It is. Eleven things sell for over fifty dollars. Definitely, we shift this priority. Okay, this thing is Burberry London. Yeah. yeah. Women's size small cashmere crew neck sweater fold up cuff cable knit. Sold for a hundred and twenty nine dollars. Yeah, love it. Let's show you the tag on this real quick. Yeah. Burberry London. I'm not sure how new this tag is. Yeah, I'm not but... either. I'm pretty sure. Here you go. It's nice. So we got this at an estate sale where uh, almost everything had boxes with it, receipts. There was just a lot of high-end stuff. So the authenticity of this was pretty apparent. Now, if we had got this at a regular thrift store, there's so much fake Burberry out there. I would definitely cross your T's and dot your I's. Yeah. Look up how to spot a fake. Look up all of that stuff because we have found very good fakes at the thrift. But in estate sales, when like you're looking at a closet full of the same kind of stuff, we paid five seventy one for it. It sold for one twenty nine. Yes. It's an uh, <clears throat> added flat Okay, the little book. I love mm -hmm. this, thing. Mm -hmm. this is in a junk bag, but I just had to have it. Don'ts for Wives by Blanche Ebbett. Hardcover novelty book. So for eight ninety five. Look how funny this is. <laughs> It says 1913, but I think it's like a reprint. Yeah. What are, what are some <clears throat> of the don'ts? I'm just curious. Art is a hard mistress, and there is no art quite so hard as that of being a wife. <laughs> Truth. Oh my gosh, this is a funny book. I put gag gift. Anytime we have funny things, I put gag gift, and this definitely applies. Mm -hmm. Should we put like a little piece of something around it? I think we should put like a little, so the corners don't get... What do you want to put around it? I don't know, like a little something something. I mean, like, it's going in a bubble. I know, but I just feel like the corners are going to get jacked up a little bit. No? Not any worse than they are. What about this little guy? Is it too thick? Yeah. What about this little guy? 
Gosh, throw it, why don't you? I like to put a little cardboard piece, just a, on one of the books. That works. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, so $8.95, that's good, whatever. Three ounces. Okay, here's the bolo. This is a bolo plush for those of you plush people. This guy? Yes. Yeah. This is Brother Bear Coda 11 inch plush new Disney Store stuffed toy animal new tags. It sold for $49.95. And Brother Bear had a lot of attention. He had a lot of watchers and it did sell for a full asking price eventually. So I'm very happy with that. It's going to Indiana. If it is over a pound, I have no idea what Brother Bear is, y'all. I don't, I don't know. It's under a pound. I don't know how much they paid, though. Mm, $8.99. So this can go in a regional if it'll fit. Yeah, regional is $9.25. Let's see if Brother will fit. I might have to get squished down a little bit. Look how cute he is, though. He has so much attention. So whatever this movie is, y'all should be on the lookout. Bolo. What is this from? Oh, the movie is Brother Bear. This is Coda. This is not Brother Bear. His name's Coda. Just letting you know. My watch is going crazy. It means we're making sales. Oh, this is from the Disney Store Canada. Brother. Coda. Bye. Oh, this poor guy. I don't want to mess with the tag. This is probably a holiday gift. And here are our cats. <laughs> She's so loud. I know. Picnic is it's so, so weird loud. because she was like for the months cat. so shy. $49.95. He's smushing it. That's the good thing about plush. You just like smush it down. All right, the next one, so it's a regional A, is the oldest item in our inventory for the most part. It's Johnny Was. What? What? How did it take this long to sell? I need a ticket for it, please. Oh no. We paid $7.98 for this beautiful silk skirt. You know what? It was probably the photos, to be honest. We used to do our tickets like this. I know you guys like to see it. Handwritten tickets. I can't even believe it. What was the inventory number? 189. I can't believe that. And it was how much? $7.89? Yeah. That's crazy. Anyway, it's this gorgeous silk skirt from Johnny Was. It's embroidered. I mean, it is stunning. I do not know... It took almost four years to sell. I can't believe the oldest thing in our inventory was Johnny Was. Everyone's like, oh, that's the best selling brand ever of all time. Well, okay. It goes to show you that there are a lot of things that I don't, I don't know what you would do with that. Um, it sold for $40. Not even gonna try. Thanks. No, I'm trying to get to the next one because I can do the next one by myself real quick. Ernie, vintage Ernie. Uh, this is from Tyco. I got a bunch of these, like, they're kind of like Beanie Babies, if I'm honest, but they're vintage. I will always pick up a Tyco like this. Little Ernie guy. So cute. I'm going to put him in a little bubble mailer. He's from 1997, which is vintage. Yeah. Paid a dollar for him. No, I can't believe that's vintage. Really upsetting to me. Oh, sorry, friend. Really upsetting. Oh, I don't know if he's going to fit. He's going to fit at this one. Excuse me. Coming through. He needs to be in a media mailer. <laughs> Bye. So it's 4.30. And we're trying to get to the post office by 5, which is about 5 minutes from our house. Johnny was his 4 ounces. Thank you. That's why we're going a little... We're trying to go a little faster. Oh. 4 ounces again. Gucci! Gucci alert! Yeah. We had a lot of interest in this shirt too. Did. So much interest. Uh, we find Gucci sometimes. It's this rare. was $4.99. I think oh, we, we found do. it at the uh, thrift. 
I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. It says Gucci in the in the pattern, but I'm not sure that there was a tag on it that said Gucci. Yeah, there is. Oh, is it? And this sure. was there? We paid yeah. $4.99 for this. Yeah. It's a floral print men's Gucci shirt. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sold for $90. Love it. Love those big sales. They really do help to even things out for us. We're almost done. We're on the last page. Yes. And yes, Gucci is one of the brands that does get faked quite a bit. Mm -hmm. But with the the detail of the, the script, Gucci look like interwoven throughout the shirt i highly doubt that's you know save I mean? the earth button okay. we're still selling these we got a whole bag full of like 70 of them they're these vintage save the earth i've told you before if it looks like it could take you out like the pin is like this <laughs> like it, they would never allow this see no. how that pin is like gonna stab you in the heart is there any it's vintage yeah it's a little bubble I don't have any little bubble. Up there in the, in the oh, top I see. corner. Perfect. Uh, anyway, that means it's vintage. And the title was Save the Earth, Peace, Love, Counterculture, Vintage, Pinback Button, 1.5 inch diameter, $10 plus shipping. And we have a bag of 70 of those. Happy about it. Just bought my thrift. I don't know. This next piece is the most gorgeous Bowden piece I've ever found in my life. What else? I believe this is going to a viewer. Thank you very much if it is in fact a viewer. This is this color is called chartreuse. It's like kind of like green, yellow. This shirt is gorgeous. It has birds on it and flowers and the silk top from the brand Bowden. And it sold for $50. Nice. Yes! I believe that Alina, who bought this, is a viewer. Because she Thank sent me a nice you. message about our vacation. <laughs> She's like, don't worry, ship it whenever you can. <laughs> I'm like, aw, it's so nice. Appreciate you a lot. Five ounces. Frame denim, 3337. Also, we've had these a long time. Uh -huh. Frame denim, Le Skinny. Mid rise crop jeans, denim, canteen, 24. And they sold for $17. Oh, man. We bought these a long time ago. I would not pick these up today. I'm sure we paid up for them, too. $7.98. Yeah. Girl, bye. Is that under a pound? I don't know. Shipping, gonna... shipping is $4.99. Oof. You got to look up the style and frame denim. Yep. Perfect. 14 ounces. Next, last thing, free people, size extra small Lurex waterfall, alpaca, wool blend, toggle, sweater, boho, long. Uh, we listed this before we left. Very nice piece. I bought a bunch of free people, like long sweaters. There's a ton of these listed in the same size. I have no idea where, why our sold and not theirs, maybe because we had it promoted. Uh, we did get a lot of interest on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. These ended up selling on eBay for $40. I say, okay. Now this is the part where it gets difficult for us in this space. Everything else about this space works really well for us, except when we have like 50 packages and I have to spread them all out so I can put labels on them. It gets a little cramped. You're about to see that. Padded flat right envelope. And it's smashing it. I'm sorry, y'all. It was pretty. Sorry. All right, here we go. I'm going to try to spread this out. This is our pick list, and Dan is going to type it in. He's going to refresh the eBay bulk shipping tool. Always refresh. Yeah, because if you leave it sitting for a few minutes and then you put in all your weights and measurements, uh, it, won't, it won't work. you got to refresh it and start with a new page. So I'm trying to organize this in such a way. That's why we have tickets so we know what's in everything. You could also just write it on there and then put the label over it. I'm trying to organize it in such a way that I can find things. We're gonna see how this works. So like if it's in a padded flat rate, I'm gonna put it there. And now that you, we have a different way of laying these things out, you can kind of see 
this process, which I really wanted to include you guys in. Not to hit the power strip. Yeah, Turn off the computer. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> We've done it before. In the middle of a live stream, no less. Did we? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I do not remember that, but it does not surprise me one little bit. Now, if it is a flat rate, if you could just tell me, and I think you can make some magic happen with the speed of our labeling. Okay. Trying. Okay, so I have an IKEA bag down here, and then there's a little table right here that I'm gonna put all these boxes on. Let's see if I can do this in a smart way. This regional, this regional. I'm just gonna. UPS is only two bucks cheaper on that Sony thing. Yeah, I just sent it to the post office. Sometimes we do that because it is cheaper a lot on UPS, but then you have to drive to a different thing. It's like really. Ooh. What? These are expensive to ship. Well, they were $150, so. We're losing about five bucks. On the shipping? Yep. That's okay. So we'll make it up on others, so we'll be okay. For what? So we're going to make it up on other things. For the yeah, shipping always ends up kind of being a wash. Uh, Alright, you guys. We're going to keep testing the limits of our space. So that hopefully we give you a little inspiration. Some people just are just always complaining about space. And we're like, you know what? You can still make magic happen in a small space. You can. Just got to be pretty organized about it. We're doing great on time. It's only 441. Which is great. So I have three, which you can't see, is I have three IKEA bags. I gotta remove this and send that guy a message. Yep. We have three IKEA bags on the bottom here. I'm just gonna drop them into the IKEA bags as we uh, put labels on. Where was I? Where was I? Oh, right there. And you want to be careful about any packages that have labels on them already and put a label over the label. We've made the mistake before of not covering up the old label. <laughs> yeah, and if something came right back to us. Comes right back, because it's your house. <laughs> okay. Um, almost there. Right. The post office guy loves Dan so much. They're like besties. So he'll, he'll kind of wait a little bit. It's true. Bonus in having friends at the post office.
added. Boom. $300.66 in shipping labels. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. If you stay till the end of the video, I know it's been a long time, an hour and a half. If you stay till the end, you can see what we made. We always show you our profit number, like when the cost of goods are taken out, the fees, the shipping, actually what goes into our bank account. Net, net mm. profits. Net. So stick around for that. Hopefully it's something that's, good. That's really the number that counts. Yeah. Let's be honest. Nothing else matters. Okay, let's see. 42 labels. Oh yeah, we had one item that didn't work when Dan tested it, so we're gonna tell the guy and cancel that. It was a watch. He went to put a new battery in it and it didn't work. So we're gonna cancel that. So 44 things going on today, because we had two on Poshmark. And I think we've sold stuff while we're on here. Ready? Almost. Just wanna start this scan form print. Okay. Okay, uh, the Rothschild Regional A. What, I need the... 46, 46. Got it, got it, got it, got it. We've got it, kids. Oh. oh. Got a little wrinkle in my... All right. Oh. Needlecraft. Of course. That sound is labels running out. Can I hand you the Rothschild thing? Mm-hmm. This is the Canali in a regional A. Um, what's the number on that? The number on the box is different than the number on the, I, I believe, 4660. Yeah, this is an Eloquy houndstooth coat. Strange. I don't know how that could have happened. I mean, I guess if you just didn't change the title or something. But it definitely was a Canali jacket. We showed you. Yep. Is that in a? It, it tells you on the. Is it a flat rate envelope? Do you see where it says? I do. Okay. Oh. Yeah, the thing was out of control. I had no control over it. Uh, Restoration hardware robe. What's in that big poly? See, I'm replacing it over the label. That's there. Peter Millar Summer Comfort. It's in a little one, I'm sure. I know. I just gotta look through every single one. It gets easier as we go. Yeah. There it is. Where? Right there. Right? Oh. How did you see that? Your eyes are so good. <laughs> the red Eileen Fisher, regional box A. Are you sure? I guess. Oh. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, Eileen Fisher. EF. He said yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's still printing. Why? And LL Bean in a regional A.
Mr. Bingle. Mr. Bingle. He's in a box. Mr. Yeah, Bingle. Yeah, in a box. Uh, Black Hearts Brigade, Regional A. Robert Graham sweater. What is it? Regular poly. Regular poly. There you go. Um, Eileen Fisher black maxi skirt. Number? 6022. Got it. Adidas soccer jersey, thirty six ninety one. Clear. I don't know how you see that far. Um, um, statement blazer, regional A. Can I reprint all of them? No. Uh, um, I mean, Fisher pants. 5173. Mm, Lafayette 148. 58. 5873. 5874, I mean. Yeah. Sketchers, 41 Regional A. Disney Pixar shirt, 2479. Looks like right. I mean Fisher padded flat rate, forty-six thirty-five. Fifty-two, fifty-five. And your Nicolo jacket. Sony selector thing. Candy's boots. I don't think they're going to make it there. The Hallmark there. Anthropology cardigan, padded flat rate. Don't 
dug the pug. Right there. Mo beta. Flat rate. Regional A, um, cool tablecloth. Burberry. The little book, Don'ts for Wives. Builder Bear, uh, Regional A. Johnny Waz. Ernie. Shipping Gucci in a poly mailer. Wow. A button. Save your button. Bowden. Free people. All right, we're off. We're gonna go together. We're back. Yeah. All right, stick around, see how much we made today. Okay, I'm deleting a listing off Poshmark manually because if you delist in Vendu uh -huh. and there's an offer out, oh, okay. it will not delist. So not you have to go in, change the size of the item, relist it, and then delist it. <laughs> okay. It's fun. So much fun. So I have not seen how much we've made. Okay, we're gonna. That was gonna be a surprise. It's for a everybody. surprise. Vendu uh, sending us messages. Hi, Dan. Oh, hey. Hey, Vendu. Okay. Uh, hey, hey, guys. All right. Okay. Okay. For today, so that was for the last 12 days. Yeah. We made 1260 in profit. It's hey. half of what we should have made. Uh, we did make twenty two twenty six in revenue, so in sales we topped twenty two hundred. Okay. Which for being on vacation is. I mean, I think that's pretty decent. Pretty good, right? But we are paying a lot in promotions. Almost a thousand dollars went to fees and cost of goods. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So forty four items sold. The ASP is pretty high though. It's at fifty fifty nine. Okay. Keep in mind that does include shipping on eBay. Right. So it's inflated a little bit. Our average shipping is about $8. So still our average sale price is pretty high. It's over $40. Yeah, that's pretty good. And let's see here. For the month to date. Uh, okay. So it is the 21st of October. I mean, November. Oh, my God. It's about to be Thanksgiving, which is a really bad week in reselling. Yeah. Right? Normally, because of Black Friday. And so we have nine days left of the month, I think. 
Eesh. So we're supposed to make three thousand dollars profit in nine days. Yeah, let's 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 get on that. <laughs> uh, we are not thrifting this month, so we did thrift when we were traveling, but that was not this month. We do not thrift in Mexico. No. We didn't leave the resort. No, we did not. <laughs> uh, so we need to get listing. There's yeah. a lot of things we need to get listing and relisting and try to make up this profit. This is our income. So we have to make $6,000 a month somehow, somewhere. Oh, what happened with the vestiaire thing? Vestiaire? I never saw another... How do you say this? I, How do you say this I word? I think the latter was correct. <laughs> okay, um, so Tracy shut down, you guys. More reseller tea. Tradesy shut down, and now they moved all their stuff over to a new platform. And we sold something there. But we don't know, like... Yeah, I got an offer. Yeah. And then you have, like, 48 hours to accept the offer, and then the person has 24 hours to pay. But I never saw another email, so I don't know if they paid. I we don't, we don't know. Uh, but we will try to sell things locally on Facebook Marketplace out of our own house, which we try to do at the end of the month when it's looking dire like this. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to spend the next nine days. Luckily, we're not going out of town for Thanksgiving listing and running a sale, running promotions, doing all the things, coupons, all of the things to sell all of the things. Yes. Okay. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate it. And we're happy to be back. We missed you. Uh, and catch us tonight. Live listing on the other channel, which is linked down in the below, uh, 7.30 p.m. ish central time. We'll see you there. <laughs> Bye. Bye.